Hey guys, what's up? So, not sure if you can see what's wrong with this picture yet, but uh, you probably already know by looking at the title of this video. But that is my BL touch right there, and the tip is missing. So, yeah, I actually upgraded the firmware on this printer, and it's running Marlin 2.0. It's an SKR 1.3 board, 32-bit uh, processor. But uh, yeah, I came back and I hit my. Uh, I didn't have the offsets correct, you know, and it came back and this, my uh, BL touch came down and whacked this thing right here and knocked the tip off. Well, it didn't totally knock the tip off, but it bent the tip. And then when I went to go bend it back, it came off. So, kind of a bad one. Uh, so, at least I was able to find a, a spare tip uh, for the Ant Clabs BL touch. Kind of expensive, 15 bucks. So, that was a $15 mistake. And, uh, but I, I didn't see any other videos online how to really to, how to fix this thing or replace the tip. So, I couldn't even find anything in the manual how to replace this. So, let's open this up and we'll see what it looks like uh, real fast. Alright, so that is the replacement tip right there. And I guess now I know how it actually probably operates. Yeah, I was always kind of wondering, could I print out this, this tip? You know, just the thing and redo it. But uh, there's a piece of metal in there and I'm sure that's electromagnetic. That's how it goes up and down. But... Uh, like I said, I have no clue. They don't even have any instructions. I looked in their manual. It doesn't even show how to do this in the manual. So I'm going to try to be careful here. And, okay. Okay, well that's kind of cool. So, okay, the bang, so this is the magnet. So I wasn't sure if that was a piece of metal or magnet. So let's look at that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well that's pretty simple. I wonder if I can, I'll probably try gluing back the other tip back on this one. You know, a backup just in case I, uh... Okay. Put that back in there. And... Oh, what's the stick? Try not to cross right it here. Okay. There we go. All right, so it's a magnetic tip. Let's see, just curious. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that and I'll try to glue the tip back on there as a backup. All right, so I also uh, print it out in case I, I do that again. I mean, if I'm messing around, I forget. Like I said, it was a $15 mistake, so. I'm going to try putting this thing on there, and it's like a little cover, it's like a, it's like a, obviously like a protective, so if I come by and hit that thing again, it's not going to knock the tip off. Alright, there it is with the uh, cover on there, so hopefully, because it's sort of like a ramp, so in case, I actually changed my, my things here, but, so in case in the future it hits something, it's going to try to kind of bevel up, and kind of ramp up to the tip. Let me release the tip and we'll see what's up, so I'm using a... Uh, Octoprint here, do probe down, and probe is down. Alright, so hopefully that will protect it. I mean, that was uh, my mistake, you know, using uh, the latest build of uh, Mylon 2.0. So, um, yeah, I forgot to do like the offset, so it came too far up. Like, normally I have like the 30 from the edges, and by default it comes 10 from the edge. So it came up and whacked the thing there. So. Alright, so that originally was an A-net, and now it's a 32-bit um, Marlin. Alright, cool.